Becca and I have a book haul for you right now my bookshelf is in freaking shambles I got pop Funko pop figures everywhere I'm sitting on my floor because the rest of my shelves are freaking crazy I'm trying to get them organized I got books everywhere it's a freaking mess and if I don't do this book haul now I'm never gonna be able to organize my shelves because literally I know I'm sitting on the floor, but like this is how tall the stack of books is that I have to haul for you guys. Alyssa, you know, just don't judge me, okay? <laughs> Basically, okay, listen, this is what happened. Like a month ago, I babysat for one of the girls that used to be in my class. And the money that her family gave me, I used on thrift books. And I got like a lot of books and then I bought a couple new ones. I ordered a couple on Amazon because Josh is freaking obsessed with his Amazon Prime now because he gets two days shipping and so he keeps ordering me books on freaking Amazon which is not helping things okay this this is just where I'm at so I've had these books for a while and then I keep adding to them and I'm like okay I need to do this haul let's let's just do it let's get into it two minutes into the video and first up is one that I've already talked about in my July TBR so I might as well freaking haul it and it is let's talk about love by Claire can this is about a girl named Alice who is asexual and when she confessed that to her girlfriend her girlfriend ended things so now Alice just had like an awesome summer planned and she's done with dating and romance and everything until she meets Takumi who is a boy. So basically it's about falling for him and it sounds like it's going to be really cute. She is asexual by romantic which is so cool and it's next up for me to read. Wow the glare on my glasses is terrible. Let's move on. I also bought Not Otherwise Specified by Hannah Moskowitz. This is one of my favorite books ever with a bisexual main character. It is about a girl named Etta who is recovering from an eating disorder and she just doesn't fit in in her small Nebraska town and she wants to audition for a performing arts school in New York. So it's about her journey doing that and I freaking loved it. This book is amazing and I feel like such a hypocrite every time I recommend this book because I didn't own it and every time I recommend like Hannah Moskowitz because she's amazing because I didn't own this book and now I do and now I'm happy yay then I finally picked up Ramona Blue by Juliet Murphy I'm like the last one to jump on this bandwagon but what else is new and this is about a girl named oh really really was I really just looking at the back cover to figure out the name of the character in Ramona Blue? Obviously her name is Ramona and she feels like she doesn't fit in but she's pretty sure of herself. She's got kind of a rocky home life and she knows that she is a lesbian, I guess. She knows that she likes girls. But then her like childhood best friend Freddy moves back and she starts questioning her sexuality because she starts falling for him and I guess it's just about like realizing that sexuality is very fluid and I'm here for that so I have it now. I don't know why I just decided to adjust the camera angle five minutes into the video but that's what I did so moving on. I got Timekeeper by Tara Sim like a steampunk alternate Victorian world that's controlled by clock towers and I guess it has like a gay main character. I got a lot of LGBT books because last month was Pride Month and I got full of feels and wanted to buy every book that I heard about but I'm really excited to read this. I am because I love steampunk so much. It's just one of my many aesthetics. Oh yay. I'm so happy. I got another one of my favorite books that I just haven't owned and it is Symptoms of Being Human by Jeff Garvin. The only thing I hate is that it's all like dirty. Does anybody know how to clean off dust jackets because it's like, it's kind of a rough paper. 
for the dust jacket too so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to clean it. This book we follow Riley who is gender fluid and their father is a politician so they kind of have to keep the fact that they're, they're gender fluid like under wraps and their therapist recommends that they start like an anonymous blog to talk about feelings of being gender fluid but then someone at their school like comments and outs them on the blog once it starts going viral so Riley is like trying to figure out who knows their identity so it definitely like screams Simon versus the homo sapiens agenda if you're into all that jazz which everybody is now I mean who isn't and I love it I love this book so much it's really good guys if you have not read symptoms of being human y'all are sleeping on it because it's really really good then I got a trilogy his fair assassins trilogy the first one is grave mercy and okay let's see I this is not the cover that I ordered which I'm kind of salty about I ordered all three of them in hardcover and the first two came in paperback this one's a freaking arc I don't I don't understand I, listen thrift books can anyone freaking explain that because it doesn't look like it is X library nowhere in here does it have any library stickers or anything but it's a freaking arc and I don't feel comfortable with that so that's happening in my life the second one is dark triumph and the third one is mortal heart in this trilogy is by Robin love favors and this trilogy is like about this group of lady assassins at a convent which sounds amazing and I guess each book follows a different girl in the group but they all like intertwine together because they're all part of the same group I don't know it sounded really good and I got them and now I have them and lady assassins that sounds really badass and that trilogy was in like a video by Kate's book date books I like vers versus books I dislike so recommending books based on books I didn't like and that sounded awesome so then I got another one that she recommended because apparently it's better than the merciless and we'll see Kate because that is my favorite horror series ever but anyway the book I got is another little piece by Kate Karis Quinn and I don't really remember what this is about except I'm like shooketh to think that it's better than the merciless I don't I'm not buying into that honestly but I love horror and I never can find like really good young adult horror that's why I love the merciless so much even though it freaking goes off the handle but I will try this and we'll just we'll just have to see okay maybe I'll do like a comparison video when I'm done reading this one. Oh yay I forgot about this so thanks to Entangled Teen sent me Alpha by Jess Accardo and wow where did it go aha uh -huh. when it first came out they sent me Infinity so this is the first book this is the third book and I never had the second book so I got the second book which is Omega I have not read any of them so <laughs> basically I need to read this entire trilogy this is the first book that I got without requesting it like it was when I was doing a lot of booktube tours and I don't know if I got like another book by Entangled Teen where I don't know but this just showed up on my doorstep and I remember being really excited but then I just never read it because it's YA sci-fi and I don't typically read it but now I have the whole series so I'm gonna have to read it I like the covers though it looks very like neon and Josh got a really big kick out of the fact that they sent me the first one and the third one but not the second one I don't know it was really funny anyway moving on he also got me another book that he thought that I would like 
the cover is shiny. I got distracted. It's called The Wicked Deep and it's by Shay Earnshaw. So basically Wicked Deep is about like witches and it's giving me major hocus pocus vibes which is my one of my favorite movies of all time. So um like a long long time ago these three witch sisters were killed by having stones tied to their ankles and then they are thrown in the harbor. So now like once a year or something like that I think it's once a year. Yep, for a brief time each summer, the sisters return and, like, steal the souls of three girls so that they can, like, seek revenge and lure boys to the harbor and kill them. Doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> I'm really excited for this one. It's super witchy and I love it. I'm so excited. Alright, we're almost done, guys. Kind of, not really. So next I have The Hazelwood, which is also a really beautiful cover, and it's by Melissa Albert. And this, oh man, don't you love that noise when you open a new book and it's like, oh, it creaks open. So this is about a teenage girl named Alice, and Alice's grandmother like wrote this book of dark fairy tales called The Hazelwood. And I don't really know much else from that. Like, her mother goes missing or something like that. And she has to save her mother. She's, like, sucked into the book world or something. And I think that sounds awesome. Apparently, this gets really dark and twisted, which I'm here for 100%. And the cover is beautiful. As you can tell, I'm getting distracted by it again. But it just sounds... Like, it's going to be really good. I love fairy tales. I love books that have, like, dark twists in anything that's, like, a super dark and twisted retelling. That is my entire aesthetic. So, yeah. Then I got Always Never Yours by Emily Wibberly and Austin Sigmund Baroka. They are a couple that wrote this book, a really fluffy YA romance about a girl who is like really into directing theater but has to get at least like one acting role or something but accidentally ends up getting cast as Juliet in Romeo and Juliet and that's not what she planned because she's not an actor and then she meets a boy and he's an aspiring playwright and it just sounds really cute and I love theater so it's right up my alley. It just sounds like it's going to be a really fun fluffy romance for summer so I had to pick it up. And just knowing that, like, a couple wrote it is even more adorable. I also picked up Little Do We Know by Tamara Ireland Stone, who also wrote Every Last Word, which I really enjoyed. And in this book, we follow two girls who used to be best friends, but they're not anymore. And now their paths are crossing once again and I feel like it's going to deal with friendship and religion and family and it just seems like it's going to be really good and emotional. The cover is so beautiful. I love when people go like all out with covers like that. Sorry, peeling stickers off as I'm speaking. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited for this because I loved Every Last Word so, so much. And I have I follow Tamara Ireland Stone on Instagram and I just have been getting so excited and hyped up over this book and I can't wait to read it. I also grabbed Faking Normal by Courtney Stevens who also wrote Dress Codes for Small Towns, which I'm reading and loving. But this is about a girl named Alexi who had something happen over the summer and she hasn't told anyone what happened. Then this boy moves in with their family. Alexi starts forming a friendship with this boy and trusting him. They kind of work through their own like tragedies together. So I picked it up because I've, I'm really loving the writing in Dress Codes for Small Towns. Josh is the, actually the one who found this on the shelf and it was not like in the right spot so I'm like wow this is fate I feel like so I grabbed it and I'm excited to read it I don't know when I will get to it but I just I knew that I had to pick it up just because I'm I'm loving Courtney Stevens writing so much and I was just talking about how I wanted to get more books by her so I it was like the universe was 
giving me this book. Yay! I also have Fun Home by Alison Bechdel. This is her like memoir of growing up and it's also the book that inspired Fun Home the musical which I'm going to be seeing in a couple weeks and I'm really excited to see that. I don't know what else to say about it. It's a graphic novel because Alison Bechtel is an award-winning cartoonist. I'm really excited to read this before I see the musical so that I can get more information about it. I've been like living for the music from the musical lately. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with it. So I, I knew that I had to go pick this up. Okay, three more and they're all by the same author so I might as well just hold them all up. Oof. They're just like Basically, when I got Not Otherwise Specified by Hannah Moskowitz, I got like all of her other books. And the first one is Invincible Summer. The next one is Gone Gone Gone. And this one it takes place after 9-11 where there are sniper shootings throughout the DC area. Craig and Leo are trying to make sense of their lives. And the last one that I'm showing you guys today is Jenna and Finn by Hannah Moskowitz and Kat Helgeson and this one is told through like messages and emails basically about like striking up an online friendship and that is so cool yay I love online friendship so much so I got this one because it just sounded really cute and fun Okay, there you guys go. That is all of the books that I have acquired recently. This video is freaking half an hour long, so I need to wrap it up. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I mentioned down below in the comments. Also, give me reasons why I need to go on a book buying ban, because that's obviously apparent. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye! And now, I try to make all these books fit in the thumbnail. That's not gonna happen.